Greetings, Studio Scrappers. This is Studio Scrapping with Amy. I'm your host, Amy Yulin, independent consultant with Close to My Heart. Did you know that you can change the color of your pattern paper? There are a couple of different ways of doing this. First of all, if you come over to your paper menu, down here at the bottom, it gives you a choice of the colors that are suggested for this particular kit. So if I want to turn this paper black, all I have to do is select black and all of my paper swatches turn to black. Now, if I decide, oh wait, I don't want to do that, all I have to do is click full color and they come back to full color. So. I can simply choose black and drop it right in and it comes in at 50% of the color. So I've decided that I actually want this to be a little bit darker. Now watch what happens if I slide my intensity bar up towards zero. It turns closer to white until it becomes completely white. And if I drag it down towards 100%, it starts to turn darker until it becomes completely black. Now, I want mine 36%. So that makes it dark enough that I can still see the pattern, but light enough that my focus is still on my photos. Now, there's another way that you can change the color of your paper, and that is simply by clicking on the background paper, coming up here to the menu that says paper, change paper color. And in this case, right now I have it at black 68%, but let's say I wanted to go crazy and I was going to turn it into a holiday red, let's just say. So here I turn it into holiday red. Everything that is that same pattern of paper turns red. And as I drag my slider closer to 100, it becomes white and then it becomes solid red. So um, again, I'm just going to undo that because holiday red doesn't really look very good with my pictures. <laughs> Okay, so what this is right now, though, is black at uh, 68%. So that's just a quick tip for you to show you how to change your paper color and the intensity of that paper. Until next time, happy scrapping! Happy scrapping!